There is nothing on the road today that comes close to the Aptera SUV when it comes to efficiency. While you can choose between many electric SUVs and crossovers, with many more coming soon, there's only one super efficient affordable EV with killer range, and make no mistake, it's very clear that's what buyers want. It's just that Aptera is already way ahead of the competition and racing ever closer to the finish line. Today, we're running through the main reasons people think Aptera is going to succeed. As promised, this is a follow-up to our previous video, titled Why People Think Aptera Will Fail. In that video, we talked about all the different reasons why people thought the Aptera SEV would fail, and we tried our best to debunk them. To recap, the first reason why people believed the Aptera would fail, which was perhaps the most common, is that the Aptera failed before, therefore it'll fail again. The second concern that people had was regarding safety. And finally, the third reason we discussed was that the car only seats two passengers. To catch up on our previous video, you can check out the link below the like button. But for now, let's get into why we are here. Let's talk about the reason why Aptura will succeed. Hi, this is Echo Electric, where we talk about all things concerning EVs. Remember to like the video. If you're enjoying our content, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications in order to stay connected. Before we get into the video, I'd like to pass on a special message regarding one of our core team members here at Echo Electric. Lewin is a founding writer and editor here at Echo Electric. He is a sickler and has lost two siblings to this disease. Lewin has battled the dreaded sickle cell disease all his life, and his health keeps deteriorating as the days go by. Despite the severe, debilitating pain episodes, frequent hospitalization, and bed rest recommendations, Lewin still puts up with creating the unique content we put out here. Lewin is indeed a fighter, and the best we can do for him as a team is to help him stay healthy. Lewin's health can be completely restored with a bone marrow transplant and a bilateral hip replacement. So we call on all our audience and fans to donate and see that he gets these surgeries. We'll really wish that he stays healthy. We hope you'll want that too. Please check out his GoFundMe campaign in the description below. Starting with first principles thinking, rather than trying to make some linear improvement on what is already in the market, makes Aptera more likely to succeed. To dominate the market, you have to literally start from scratch, which is what Altera is doing. You have to start from the ground up to bring something to market that is far better than what already exists. Being a startup like Aptera gives you the freedom to pursue radically different thinking and execute on groundbreaking ideas that legacy automakers wouldn't dream of. Aptera didn't start with going after a market segment, like trucks or motorcycles. The company started with the principle of building the most efficient electric vehicle ever to get from point A to point B. Every engineering and design decision has lead to building the most efficient and innovative vehicle, that is unlike anything the market has ever seen before. The company is stretching the physical limits of what efficiency means for ground transportation at every level of the vehicle's design. With efficiency, you get better range, better price, better total cost of ownership, weight savings, greater solar efficiency, less charging needs, and more. And efficiency is just one area in which the vehicle is superior. That doesn't begin to get into how the composite body is better in practically every way from cutting down on road noise, the stellar thermal properties, to safety and longevity, or all the clever benefits that the Aptera brings. The thing is Aptera has just made a hands-down beast of a product without of this world efficiency. As Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, puts it, making prototypes are easy, but manufacturing is hard. Anyone can make one barely functioning prototype, showcase it, get some pre-orders down, and try to leverage it to get investors. But only the most competent are able to navigate the extreme difficulties of manufacturing. The team at Aptera knows this very well, and has been focusing on optimizing the manufacturing process from day one. Before hiring any employees, the co-CEOs sat down with automotive legend Sandy Monroe to discuss the prospect of getting things off the ground. It's safe to say Sandy saw a massive opportunity and jumped in right away. He also invested early on with the help of Monroe and Associates over these past few years. 
Many decisions have gone into making the vehicle as easy to manufacture as possible. For example, keeping the part count very low, the body itself only has four pieces, the tub, top and two sides other than the scroll wheels and the capacitive button for the horn on the yoke. There are only five physical buttons in the interior, that is two door switches, two accessory-like buttons, and the hazard light, and nothing more. Next up, there's only six subsystems which are assembled across 12 stations in 12 minutes, each plus a finished check, meaning the vehicle can go through final assembly in only two and a half hours. And with automated guided vehicles, it's easy to ramp up the production line without building out crazy expensive infrastructure. This is a scalable solution not only for the Carlsbad factory, but for future factories as the company expands. Then there's the state-of-the-art manufacturing execution system, which monitors all 12 assembly stations, making it easier to control costs, managed inventory, and so on. These systems are expensive and difficult to implement, but make a world of difference. So fewer parts of your subsystems and advanced execution systems are just nice to have when you're trying to manufacture a vehicle at scale. They can be the key difference between fading into obscurity and rising to the top. Co-CEOs Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony have been working together on various projects since 2006. They're reported known to work well together. They feel they cancel each other out, as Steve is more of the realist while Anthony is more of the optimist. Because Aptura has so many unique challenges to execute on, it is very fitting to have two CEOs. For example, one CEO can be overseas closing deals with suppliers, while the other can be leading the front at home. Or they can each handle particular, technical challenges or business challenges. Steve Fabro is an electrical engineer by training and is known for his ability to solve challenging technical problems. One of his more recent companies was Farm Grow, a vertical farms company. There his focus was on improving the efficiency of growing organic plants indoors. After a Motors is Chris Anthony's eighth startup. He is known for epic boats in which he developed a manufacturing process called resin infusion that yielded super light, yet incredibly strong composites. Flex Power, which is a battery company, was another one of Anthony's startups. It currently trades on the open market and has a market cap of $41 million. The co-CEOs are both serial entrepreneurs who have run successful businesses and have experienced innovating in multiple industries. Now, Aptera is truly a one-of-a-kind venture that is leading the way in efficient transportation. There is so much passion from this company, coming from the leadership, the employees, the supply partners, and the fans. So many people want to see them succeed, including us here at Echo Electric, since it represents the very best of efficient transportation. So, with its superior engineering and design manufacture, ability, and strong leadership, Aptera is well positioned to go far in the auto industry. But what's your opinion? Do you think Aptera will fail or succeed? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this coming in the future. And if you feel touched to contribute for Lewin's treatment, don't forget to check out the GoFundMe page in the description below. Thank you, and thanks for watching.